Clemson at Syracuse in the Carrier Dome. That place has the potential to be buzzing a little bit. Orange on orange, baby. Uh, Clemson coming off a – and actually, a, I thought a very impressive performance against Florida State. Syracuse has been coming off an absolute heater. Is Garrett Schrader going to carry the ball 25 times a game? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. He I don't know that to. that's very sustainable. And here's the thing. I like I like Allen. He's a good running back. And I know Rodney Gadsden's out for the season, but the receivers have really stepped up in a big way, which I like a lot. Um, Syracuse has for sure made me some money this year a little bit. And they're just playing good football right now. Their defense is stepping up. Their offensive line is holding it together so far. Um, yeah, I will say Clemson, though, the thing that I was impressed about last week is getting pressure on Jordan Travis and stopping the run. That defensive line kind of coming into form a little bit there. And mm-hmm. I, when I look at Clemson, I, I look at Clemson as like a top 20 team. I do. I think they're uh, obviously AP pool with that resume. You, you can't. You can't rank them in top 25 because they haven't done anything to deserve that, right? But there's a reason that this game is almost a touchdown. Um, In fact, I think this game should be more than a touchdown. Give me Clemson to win. Give me them to cover. What are your thoughts on this? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to say that too. I, I Like, as impressed as we have been with Syracuse, I do think beating Purdue at Purdue gets a little bit more hype than it should. Right, who hasn't beaten Purdue if you're on their Purdue schedule so far? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm kidding. We've got some diehard Purdue fans I know that listen to this show. So I'm sorry to you guys. I just wanted to give you a little jab. Um, But, yeah, I, I do think Clemson, first of all, 0-2 Clemson in the ACC. They have a lot of catching up to do if they want to get back to the ACC championship game, which I know they want to. In, in a year where, they, right, Louisville, Duke, North Carolina, NC State, Georgia Tech even, maybe Miami. Um, right, There's a lot of variability, right? At the, at the top half there. So so Clemson's still in it, obviously. But it starts with, with this week, 11 a.m. in the Carrier Dome. You got to go in there and take care of business. I think they will. It's under a touchdown. Give me Clemson um, and the points. And I did like what we talked about it in our Clemson recap video of last week. I did like what I saw from Club Nick. I didn't love it, obviously, but I liked it. You know, you're stepping in the right direction there. I think Garrett Riley's finding himself um, with this Clemson offense and receivers they've got there. Will Shipley continue to have to ride him? The sad part is with Will Shipley, his longest rush on the year is 19 yards. For a guy that explosive, that good, that's not good enough. Um, so obviously that O-line has to do a little bit better job of getting that second level and letting him be one-on-one with linebackers and safeties there um, to do what he does best. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to go Clemson. I think they're going to be a little bit pissed off. I hope they're not too demoralized. I do think this could be a letdown game where they, they can't, they should have won last week at home against Florida State. Obviously, that would have been a huge win for the momentum that they needed desperately. Um, but yeah, I, I'm I'm not too worried about that with Dabble and staff there. I think they'll come ready to play. But yeah, Garrett Trader deserves a ton of credit. A ton of credit. He really does. Like, like went out there. Um, yeah, I know he played. He was great last year, and then he got hurt, and then they lost a bunch of games. Um, obviously, with the play style they've had this year, it's kind of looking up to that as well in terms of how much they're using him. Um how much can can a body take there with Garrett Schrader. But yeah, I'm I'm I, this could be a, an interesting game, but I'm not too worried. Don't overthink it. It's Clemson over set uh minus seven six and a half. I will say I'll play devil's advocate. If there was a reason to be worried about Clemson, okay, Antonio Williams goes down, right? Probably not gonna be playing for this week, likely. Uh, that's that's an explosive playmaker that you have. If you think you need to rely on explosive plays on the road, which I don't think they necessarily do, then but that is a guy that's down and missing, right? Uh, right guard, Walter Parks has been out recently. This past couple days, so they've been doing they've been doing well without him, right? But boy, Mitchell Mays, <laughs> I don't know you Clemson fans, what you guys think? I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments, but I think Mitchell Mays might be on stink alert right now. I think. He's on stink alert. I don't know that from what I watched, granted, he's playing some good teams. I don't know that he's the guy. I don't know that he's the guy. So tell me I'm wrong. But so can Syracuse get some pressure on K Club Nick? Maybe strip sack, write some turnovers. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, Syracuse has been dealing with injuries on the offensive line, but the thing is, I think they're healthy now. They got through their gauntlet with uh well, not through their gauntlet, but they got through these the past four games with 
some banged up both offensive linemen. So how about that? I mean, you're not gonna have Isaiah Jones still, but I think these other receivers, man, could could pick up the slack in the aggregate. So yeah. But with that being said, give me Clemson. <laughs> oh, I was definitely impressed with that army win. I, I do I do think that was not as easy as it, it they they ended up winning by thirteen points. So it was still a tough th- tough game in the second half there. Right, they needed to put up 26 points in the second half, come from behind and win that game. But yeah, Army Army is a good football team. And obviously playing them a team that you're not not normally used to seeing that triple option always gives you headaches. So credit to Clemson or Syracuse for 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 buckling down and getting that win there. I don't think it happens this week. Um yeah. 